Quincy Smith episode. This is the Quincy Smith. Yeah. He's the biggest idiot ever met in my life. This, this, this is where everything turns oh. around. Like people refer to this oh, incident. Oh, oh, exactly. Much like, much like Christian Leitner stopping somebody. Oh, I know. Oh, I love that. They're, they're going to be oh. talking about this episode for years. Oh, they compare Christian Leitner to Michael Jordan. I love that. He, he, let, let Christian Leitner steal some of my heat, boy. I know. Lord, I know. I hate everybody. I'm just telling you. <laughs> Old ladies at lunchrooms. Yeah, we got a lot, a lot to talk about, Bullet. Talk about. Uh, a, a quick update on Eddie Money. Oh, he's the greatest, Bullet. He worked me, but I loved it. Really, <laughs> Bullet. I knew what he was doing. It's so cool, Bullet. He, he kind of, you know, it was just good. But I'll, I'll say that for a second. Okay, yeah, okay. we can't give this stuff away for No, no, free. no, Bullet. Yeah, what the heck? Except for the show. Yeah. And all our sponsors. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another edition of Dad You Don't Work, you Russell. Yes. You hit a clap. You know what time it is. George, how was your Bullet, weekend? Bullet, my weekend was unbelievable. I'm so hyped up on chocolate chip cookies. Uh, more details coming shortly uh, okay. than I've All ever right. been in my life, Bullet. I am so excited, Bullet. I am just, I'm still on riding that high of my two tickets to paradise. Bullet, mm -hmm. I'm going to tell you something. Without dedicating this show to the greatest rock and roll guy ever, Eddie Money, Bullet, I had the time of my life Saturday. I'm going to tell you. Uh, and what's so amazing about it, he's so much like us. I don't know if that's good or bad, but he finished he finished the concert, he goes to his gimmick table. Boy, I just marked out for that. I really did, <laughs> boy. I mean, he couldn't wait to get to the table. But, he had a Batman cloth over his, paper, oh, on his yeah, table, yes, too. An old Batman sheet and everything, yeah. boy. But what's so amazing about boy, when he first came out, even me, you know, we all, it's like we all, our backs hurt, you know, he, he took a few bumps in his career, bullet. Mm -hmm. So he's coming up on, he's walking up at a scene, I'm thinking, I don't know now, because he ain't, no, he, ain't, he ain't turned it on yet, bullet, you know what yeah. I'm saying? But brother, I'm going to tell you, when the first song, Walk on Water, bullet, he swelled up like a transformer. I'm going to tell you, bullet, he, I've never seen nothing like it. And here's what is the most amazing thing about it. Cabarrus Arena, huge arena, as we all know, yeah, bullet, yeah. it was one ticket price, okay, general mission seating. Get there early, you're right there at the stage. We were like three rows back from the stage. Mm -hmm. Bullet, most unbelievable thing I've ever seen. Come out with a sports coat. Dad, you don't work, you wrestle sports coat. It didn't match nothing he had. Bullet, <laughs> that's what I loved. It's uh, just on the rack. He just, oh, he just grabbed it. Probably somebody yeah. left it from a wrestling show or something. But yeah. anyway, boy, he, I'm telling you, I got to start taking a few bumps. I'm telling you, because he, he worked hard. But I'm telling you, for three hours straight, he, he didn't stop. And boy, it was just the most amazing. He, here's the most amazing thing about it. Here's and this goes to all you idiots out there that tell me to learn new stuff and do new stuff. Eddie Money even admitted. He said, "Listen, he said I have not had a new song in 35 years." He said, "I haven't needed it." And you come to think of it, bullet, right? Yeah. He's been singing the same, same, same hits. But here's what's the most amazing fact about all that bullet. I could go on about it all night. He played Charlotte 1979. Mm -hmm. First time ever, he said he came to Charlotte. And even though we're all burnt, and even rock and roll stars are burnt bullet, you can tell he's like burnt in a good way. You know what I'm saying? Because his dates coincide. He just didn't throw dates and towns out like we do. You yeah. know, when we do an interview, it all it all fell in, bullet. It was just the most amazing time. Uh, even had a couple fans. Based on the check stubs, so it's probably oh, easy to oh, look up. Oh, bullet. For, for, I was a little worried. Oh, the very George South, this Mooresville show in the beginning. I mean, when, <laughs> when, when, well, I, I thought it was in Mooresville. I'm telling you. Uh, <laughs> When, uh, he had a warm-up guy, a warm-up band. wasn't even really a band. The guy came out with a guitar, which is very smart of Eddie Money. You don't want your warm-up band to even compete with you. Yeah. So Eddie Money put this guy, a great guy out there with just a guitar. So I knew anything they Eddie. They don't change too much of the tech stuff. No, nothing. The drum guy, they don't have to sweat out drums. What an amazing set. thing, well, well, You know, because that's the thing he, with, when you got opening bands and you got to do uh, That's stuff. right. If you just send a guy out there with a guitar and make sure that's good and the mic's good, then everything else can be well, set he the plugged it in, did did 40 minutes, did, nothing was touched. Exactly what you said, just an amazing thing. And then, of course, the man came out, Eddie Money, what was so amazing about it is he went to his table and I got to spend time with him. He, and I know he was working me, Bullet, but, you know, I came, as soon as I came right to him, I, I'm thinking, it's, it's chance of a lifetime. I got I to meet him. I'm going to tell you, Bullet. And he had a guy with him that was kind of a jerk, very George South, this kind of Jake Manning-ish. Uh, <laughs> and the guy's rushing everybody through. But Eddie Money, I'm telling you, he just kicked back like he's in your living room, Bullet. Yeah. I mean, he's talking, flirting. He's... Uh, it was kind of neat. He said he loved the ladies, but he's got to be careful because his wife has spies all over the country. Uh, but here's what's so neat, Bullet. It sounded a little Tracy Smothers. Oh, very there. Tracy Smothers. <laughs> got spies over But what was, so, <laughs> what was so great is he even said, I played Charlotte in 1979. He said that was three rehabs ago. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> Did 
He's got his line. So, oh, yeah, I, bet, his I, bet, I bet he tells that joke all the oh, time. Oh, boy. It was just so good. And then when I finally met him, of course, he called me a rock star. He was working me, but that's good, boy. It ain't never done. I don't care if he... If he made he, you feel good. Oh, he did, boy. Listen, and of course, my... You know, and that's what Ric Flair does oh, to people when you meet him. He makes you feel good. I, now, you know, he, <laughs> when, how he treats us, that's how he treats us. But when you meet him, he makes you feel like a million bucks. You think we're nuts. Yeah. Because there ain't no way Ric Flair's like that. Yeah. But what's so amazing is uh, is the lovely lady that I had with me, boy, he flirted with, you know, he just, and it's not a sleazy wrestler flirt. Does that make sense, Bullet? It's a classy. It's not a buff bag flirt. No, it's flirt. not a buff <laughs> bag flirt. It's a classy rock and roll yeah. flirt. You know what I'm saying? And he asked me to go on tour with him. He didn't know how close I came to just to, leave. To being him. a roadie. I'm telling I'd be a roadie, Bullet. Yeah, you've been a roadie. I, I'd, I'd be a roadie man. that he sleeps with. That's what I'm telling Bullet, I was desperate. I'm just telling you, Bullet, okay? Uh, I, but I'm telling you, we're, that's close, Bullet, but I know the show needs me. I know you can pull it on your own. But, that's right. Uh, Bullet, we got to have somebody to, you know, for uh, to look stupid while right. you do the show. Yeah, okay? I'll, I'll take so. your place. I'll find somebody that still has a little glimmer of hope in his eye <laughs> and then slowly see it dissipate through 100 episodes. Well, well, Bullet, what I love is Eddie Money's just like us. You know, he's a little older like me. been around. He's hanging on. You know what I'm saying, Bullet? Yeah. But when he... Brother, when that music hit and that lights, brother, he, it, it was the most unbelievable thing. There was not nobody sitting in that play, uh, play. Well, Funny thing about the whole thing, I wasn't in the building five minutes. I seen our wrestlecade light people. I mean, and the sound people. They yelled at me. I ducked. I didn't know who, some outlaw guy or something. Uh, I, it made me feel good, bullet. Uh, three or four outlaw guys came up wanting to get a picture with me. I scared death, bullet. Yeah. I, I, luckily, they didn't. Uh, one guy thought I was Hulk Hogan. I let him think it. Bullet, everything was uh -huh. going great. So I uh, did meet him. Million bucks. There you he go. hooked me for a T-shirt. Anybody did. Uh, you know what's even cool is everybody knows he's done the Geico commercial. Mm -hmm. He even had a T-shirt with him and a Geico lizard, whatever that thing is. Boy. Why not? I'm telling Why you. Why so, not? It was just a great boy. I'm just There's telling. Far less interesting shirts on pro pro wrestling tees right now. <laughs> I'll tell you that much. <laughs> That's exactly right. Uh, it was just a great, great time, boy. He loves Waffle House. I know everything about him. He don't have Waffle House as much of where he's at, so he eats he, he Waffle House. Uh, yeah, I may have drove around a few Waffle Houses after the concert, just seeing if he was there. So, but, boy, it was great. I'm telling you, and, and it, when you know all the songs, Bullet, he, he, I had I had a great time. My hat's off to Eddie Money. He, I thought he worked way too hard. Kind of like that night when you are waiting on me to come to the ring and they're telling you that I got jumped in the dressing room and yeah, yeah. Uh, the paramedics are coming to get me and you're saying, no, that's too much work it's, for George it's to do. too much work. You that's, know, that's, that's, that's extra money. That's kind of what I was thinking. But, boy, it was great. So, with all that being said, uh, uh, that was uh, after my famous... Uh, Russian chain match with the Russian bear, there Ivan Kolov. Now, a bullet, Jake, man, what a great night. They had 300 people in this little old, high school, uh, little old middle school gym. It was a fundraiser for the middle school, which we always love doing. Mm -hmm. I'm going to tell you, Ivan Kolov, when he got in that ring, I'm telling you, bullet, tough it, he, still. When he wants to go, toughest man I've ever been in my life. You can't move him. I mean, he's like a train. I mean, and just keeps coming. Tells you to hit him harder. My hand's broke. Russian chain. Uh, but you know what's so amazing about all that bullet is, is yesterday I even posted this on Facebook. He even took time. You know, I'm talking about WWF World Legend Champion. Uh, even thanked me. Because we, we kind of kayfabe that night and whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, people know what that means. What am I thinking? But anyway, uh, there some Mark saying he didn't say that right. Uh, but <gasps> he, he called me the next day and thanked me. So mm -hmm. that was just a neat little thing, bullet. So uh, great weekend, bullet. This weekend, a lot of stuff. Man, fix it, go on the road. I leave Friday, bullet. Listen to this thing. Uh, Saturday, Louisville, Kentucky, bullet at the high school. Uh -huh. Let me tell you what happened, bullet, real quick. Nobody's even gonna believe this. Everybody knows Kentucky's got a commission. Yes, okay, we had a show, very strict. huge show book, bullet. Uh, they used this the, the idiot promoter up there. They did that all on their own. Uh, it is uh, not going to be a wrestling event now okay. because of that uh, that stupid promoter. He screwed it up so bad, uh -huh. bullet. Even though we uh, okayed everything, had everything sent in, it's just. We don't trust the guy, to be honest with you. So, Man. long story short, uh, myself, Road Warrior Animal, making a very, very rare appearance, will still be there. Ted DiBiase, Million Dollar Man, uh, Lex Luger, and the Kitty Call. Uh, still in the high school gym in Louisville, Kentucky, mm -hmm. Somerset, Kentucky, actually. Uh, yeah. It's just going to be a huge, I don't know how it's going to go, it's just going to be a huge road story Q&A hangout. That's it. No ring, which I love, boy. Yeah, saying. oh, trust so, me. I know, I know how it is. We have, I ran uh, a show this weekend. The ring was already in the building. Oh, God. So just not having to worry about that. Well, well, ticket sales are still going. People just want to come meet us. They get to meet us, ask us questions, hang out with us. So, great, great time, of course. And I'll shoot straight back Saturday night. And then, of course, Sunday, uh, the great big event for AML 
in uh, uh, Winston-Salem will okay. be Sunday afternoon with another huge, huge show. And uh, it, uh, so got a lot going on. But with all that being said, the book's doing good. Uh, special, special, special Idiot of the Week, Bullet. You know, but this is this is probably one of my favorite moments of our show. Well, there's so many idiots running wild. I can. Uh, I'm it's gonna one of the only segments of the show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true too. Yeah. I'm going to save the, the 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 miserable old lady from the lunch today because I can milk this for twenty you know twenty days yeah. twenty weeks with her. But with all that being said, Bullet, uh, I am not going to throw the lady in who I don't know if you've seen the comment. I, I, everybody knows I love Bojangles. I ran in Bojangles. Get me a biscuit. The lobby's empty. I'm just, I just want to eat there for two minutes. Peace and quiet, Bullet. Left the phone in the car. And I look over. This close to me is an, a, a Bojangles employee that just got off. And he, his face down in the table. He's asleep. Bullet snoring. And I'm just trying to eat my biscuit. Okay? He has a Bojangles shirt on. So, me, you know, I had to find something smart elegy to say. So, I just posted uh, this 18-year-old's asleep. And what, you know, and, and comparing it to us when we were 18, Bullet. No. You know what I'm saying? I mean, come on. So, anyway... So the lady gets on her. She's not going in an idiot bag. The lady gets on her and said, well, did you ever consider that this guy, uh, this young man, probably was tired and just worked his shift and he's waiting on a ride? Duh, which probably was the fact, but still. He should you, be really doing cartwheels because he's leaving Bojangles. <laughs> and Bullet, listen, you take the Bojangles shirt off, you're classified as homeless. You see what I'm saying? Go find a bridge or something. <laughs> But anyway, so I'm not putting her in there just for that because I came back and said, well, tell him to go home and take a nap. And she said, oh, but anyway. But you're so, off work. You should be super excited. Oh, I'm telling you. Especially if you were going to Bojangles. Sleep. <laughs> leaving is the best part. <laughs> sleep while you're cooking the chicken. Yeah. Okay? What the heck, yeah, man? Sleep don't, the sleep. Pain. Yeah, don't sleep when you're, like, no, on your own time. On your own time. That's your time. <laughs> Yeah, sleep, sleep on your employees' time. Yeah. We'll help them all. But anyway, with all that being said, Bullet, everybody knows, a few months, big show. Here comes our idiot of the week. Probably the idiot of, of this year so far, Bullet, is everybody knows, Bullet. I, man, I don't start nothing. I really don't, Bullet. Everybody thinks, George, you got so many people that hate you. What do you do? I don't. Can you imagine if I tried to yeah, get heat? You just Bullet, exist. I, I, I'd, I'd probably screw it up, Bullet. Yeah. I should have been, if I'd had this much heat as I've always said, I'd be the biggest heel. I'd be fighting Dusty in war games instead mm -hmm. of time. But anyway, long story short, Bullet, they posted today that me and Chris Hamrick's fighting in a gas in a few weeks. They even asked, should it be a leather strap match? Without even asking me. Of course, George stick you know, his nose in it says, no, not unless George's uh, leather, hey, hey, not unless George's leather wallet is a uh, uh, Strap and yeah. strap. Yeah. strap. Cast. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I love that word, bullet. Lash, lash my leather wallet with some cash. Yes, exactly. So, with all that being said, here comes a guy, Quincy Smith. Bullet. Quincy Smith, you're the biggest idiot that the world has <laughs> ever seen. I want to make sure they hear that, bullet. Okay. So, this guy who I've never met gets on there and he says, Oh, I think uh, Chris Hammer's okay. He knows what he's doing, but George South. He don't. He just needs to quit. He needs to retire. Like, I'm not. I'm going to let that alone. But that don't bother me, Bullet. But I was just bored at the light up here. So then I get on there and then say my piece. Of course, he comes back. That's what they want, Bullet. Of course, Quincy Smith, who is our idiot of the light uh, of the year so far, will go in here. Of course, he gets on there and naturally says he's never wrestled. You know, never says he's never wrestled. So I just end the conversation before I walked in, just basically saying, uh, uh, you you know, it didn't surprise me that you said you never wrestled. And, of course, I told him he better get off Facebook before Mom, who's working two jobs, going to get home and catch him while he's laying around uh, in his Star Wars pajamas. And then I said, excuse me, uh, I'll be right back. I'm going to go take a Quincy, which I did. Okay? So, uh, and then I Real messy, him, too. Oh, real messy. I'm not, <laughs> not talking one of them quick ones, but <laughs> I'm talking one of them Quincy's. That you sit there for a while. I mean, read like three wrestling magazines. Yeah. Boy, that's how bad this Quincy was. So, mm -hmm. uh, just leave me alone. Holy cow. I even told him. I'll be, he said, well, George don't even need shit. No, you need to replace George. That's what he said. I said, well, tough luck, buddy. I'm bringing a ring. They can't replace me. <laughs> and I said, well, I'll be there early if you want to come by. Of course, yeah. naturally, he, you know. Anyway, you can say, George, just ignore him, but I, it was fine just call him an idiot, okay, yeah. really. So anyway, Quincy Smith, if you see him out there, call him an idiot. Tell him George said he was an idiot. He's our idiot, idiot of, of the week. week. Yes, right here bullet. in the bag with all yes, the rest of them. with all the rest of them. So, bullet, whew, my head's about to explode. I just blow three gaskets, bullet, but uh, we do have uh, a book. To, oh, and, wh and where will you be this week, bullet? Oh, uh, we'll, I, I am, I'm going to be making, I will actually probably be driving right by you, waving past you. <laughs> Uh, I will be making my way to Iowa 
for Scott County Wrestling, which is where I started. Oh, bullet. This is hour, the one. This is the one. Uh, I will be an hour away from where my parents are. My parents are going to see me wrestle in Iowa for the first time in a very, very oh, long time. Oh, bullet. I, I, I be, I'll be there. I'll be seeing a lot of people that I started with. I'll be wrestling Merrick Brave. Oh, uh, him and Tyler. A little history there. Yeah, right? yeah exactly. Bullet, him, the feud lives on. Him and uh, Tyler Black, otherwise known as Seth Rollins, they have a training school. So now wow. he's training people. So oh, now they have a training school in the Quad Cities, uh, the Black and Brave. Uh, now, is this the one where you work one of the guys in one of your first matches or no? Yes. Keep, this, oh, this, yeah, this yes, yes, I do. Okay. This is definitely where I had my first match against oh, wow. uh, Shane Hollister, but I'm wrestling Merrick Brave. So uh, he, Mer I think I wrestled Merrick uh, in my third match of all wow. time. So this, this has got a lot of meaning to it. Uh, it's going to be a real good match. Real excited about it. I'm going to see like everybody that that I oh. know from back there is there. So I'm pr I pr I'm taking the pad in there for them. Whoa! So I'm going to get get there early. So well, it's coming home that way. Oh! So I've, I get, be looking forward to that in, in a big way. So so we had Dusty Rhodes return to Tampa. Remember Bullet yeah. went. Remember he returned to Tampa. So mm -hmm. Bullet's returning back home. Yes. Bullet. Yes. So. I'm, I'm trying to trying to do this on the on the. The later half of my career, since I'm now 33. Well, since uh, you're established. So I, I, okay, established. I like that term. <laughs> there are probably other terms you could use. Uh, you know, the number of... Well, I'm just trying to get out of here. Yeah, Holy the number cow. 33 sticks in my head because that was the age that we lost Eddie Gilbert at. So, oh, wow. Uh, it just makes me uh, think a lot about that. Yeah, so yeah, that's uh, right. Bullet. But but anyways, uh, you know, I'm going back and I'm going to do that. And hopefully I'm going to go back to the place uh, in Springfield. And do that sometime soon. I figure once I do that, then you know, then, then I've kind of did. Circle. Yeah, You've I come come full circle, and that's kind of what I'm doing right now is hitting, doing everything that I want to do on my own terms. Oh, I love that. So that's uh, what I'm doing. What a great. Weekend. That's exactly right. But what a great, great. I'm so glad you said that. As we finish up here, but what a great. You know, I told you a story when I was working for Crockett. They used to. Kevin Sullivan told me one time that at four o'clock in the afternoon, you got to be in Albany, Georgia, which is like eight and a half hours from Charlotte. No. There's no way, and you had to do it to try to make it. But it is a kind of a good feeling, uh, kind of now, which that stupid uh, Quincy guy will never even understand. Is you can kind of enjoy things a little bit. Yeah, Bullet. You know what I'm saying? And and, and uh, I'm so happy for you. Bullet, yeah, because so. there's a lot of opportunities where you get to enjoy them. And that, that's exactly. Enjoy right. it. And, I, and I'm definitely gonna enjoy it because there's a lot of times I don't get to. Enjoy well, you know, I told someone that Jim, they always, they said, man, y'all y'all got the life traveling, and I'm thinking you don't even. No, they think we stop and sightsee and and take I pictures. Wish. I know, and, and I most of these things, we, I mean, you know, we go in. I mean, first there's time, there's so much stuff you miss. That's like, exactly I've been, right. I've been in New York twice, and and like, there's all these wonderful restaurants I could go to, and yeah. with all these many amazing chefs, and I don't have time it, for any. No, it ain't. I don't even have time think. for sleep. <laughs> yeah, but well, well, I'm going to a restaurant and eat. I don't have enough time to go to the the, the gift shop and buy something. That's exactly right, Barely, well, it, so. That's exactly right. If you don't have a clue, so uh, but uh, have a good trip, boy. Be praying for you, buddy. Just a great, great time, bullet. We, we uh, thank everybody. We, it's just a lot of stuff going on. It's heating up around here. Charlotte Super Sizzler Tour. I'm yeah. sure I'll throw one of those together pretty soon, bullet. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Quick update real quick, coming up, uh, uh, West Lincoln High School very soon, uh, Anderson Brother Classic number 7. Very, and, and hopefully, hopefully the next day or two I'll be able to confirm that with oh, you. Oh, 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 uh, I, I still have things up in the air with all these film festivals. There's there's uh, one or two more that haven't turned me down yet. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> I love that. And I still this film festival has gone, uh, gone as about as well as my 7th grade dating career. So, uh, <laughs> so you may have me on that date. Yeah. Uh, that's coming up very soon. Yep. Next month, be a lot of lot of detail stuff coming up yep. about that. So, Absolutely, a lot of stuff coming up. But what will not be coming up because it's here now, bullet, is the second greatest book yes. of all time, which is available at highspots.com. And We're if you good. want to know more about what's going on with me and George, make sure you follow me on Twitter at Man Scout Man. We're good, bullet. Really, I'm telling you, we're good. Very good. Thank you, that's bullet. Right. Good job, buddy. Man, that Quincy Smith gets me a little aggravated. You think? What <laughs> and I can put on there, I said, dang, idiot. I said, at least meet me. I said, you probably won't like me if you meet me. Like he couldn't uh, hate me, like he could hate me any worse.